Today, I'd like to talk to you about units of measure as well as scale in Maya. After watching this video, I hope you will better understand these concepts and how to use them effectively and consistently in Maya. Let's take a look at a scene that I have created. Here we have a towering Godzilla-like creature in a cityscape. The buildings around the creature give us a reference point. They suggest the massive scale of the monster. But let's take a closer look at the file. Here I have modeled and textured a ruler, indicating my monster is in fact only the size of a small toy, approximately 4 inches or 10 centimeters tall. Let's look at a couple other ways we can make measurements in Maya. I can create a cube. Maya's default settings is centimeters. If I create a cube, it is one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. In other words, about the size of a sugar cube. I can scale the cube by 10 on the scale Y, and it becomes 10 centimeters tall. If I add 10 units for the subdivision height, then I have a handy 10 centimeter ruler. Maya actually has a more convenient tool for measuring, though, and it can be found under Create, Measure Tools, Distance Tool. By clicking twice, I create two locators. By moving the two locators, I can measure the distance between any two points. And as you can see, my creature is approximately 10 centimeters tall. A less precise but very quick and easy way to get a sense of scale is to go to the content browser and drag a human character into your scene. Now, who's the towering monster? To get a further sense of scale, let's also drag in a T-Rex. Our creature should at least be the size of a T-Rex, so I'll select it and scale it up. Godzilla's height has been reported to be 100 meters tall, which is about 328 feet. That's 1,000 times bigger than our original model, which was 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters tall, if you remember. Let's scale up our model so that it is 100 meters tall.
Now even the T-Rex feels small. Now we're going to run into a problem. As I zoom out, our creature disappears. The problem is the clipping plane of our camera. Anything beyond a certain distance from our camera gets clipped out of the image. To fix that, we need to select the camera and open up its attribute editor. Under the camera's attributes, you will find a field called the far clipping plane. The default setting is set to 10,000 centimeters or 100 meters. By adding one more zero, I'm setting the clipping plane to 100,000 centimeters. Now we can see our creature just fine. In fact, we can see anything within one kilometer of the camera. As I zoom out, you'll notice that once I get to be a kilometer away, the creature once again disappears. So in conclusion, scale is relative in 3D packages. As artists, we don't always work according to Maya's set units of measure. We may decide, for example, that in our project a centimeter equals a foot. But a good understanding of scale in Maya will help you avoid as well as troubleshoot problems. Here are some reasons why scale is important in Maya. If we are working as part of a team, it is important that everyone work to the same scale. After all, we don't want some art assets coming in extra large and others coming in absolutely minuscule. If we are 3D printing our models, it is necessary we know how big our object is actually going to be. If we are exporting our work to other programs, the Unity Game Engine, for example, modeling at a consistent scale between the two programs will make the process much easier. And finally, while I haven't demonstrated it in this video, please understand that the performance of everything from brush settings, paint effects, particle systems, and fluid effects in Maya are dependent on scale. Now for some fun facts. Godzilla stands at 100 meters tall. We can compare that to the blue whale, which is approximately 30 meters long. The blue whale is bigger than the dinosaurs and is the largest animal known to have ever existed. The Statue of Liberty measures from ground level to torch at 93 meters tall. And the tallest tree in the world is named Hyperion. It is a coastal redwood in California and stands at approximately 116 meters. According to Wikipedia, it would be even taller if it weren't for woodpecker damage. The tallest building in Boston is located at 200 Clarendon Street, formerly known as the John Hancock Tower. It is 241 meters tall. The tallest building in the U.S. is One World Trade Center in New York City, standing at 541 meters. And the tallest building in the world is Burj Khalifa in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. It is 828 meters tall. Thank you for watching.